Figi Lembandula, the Secretary General of the African National Congress, recently urged the Democratic Alliance to exit the Government of National Unity if they are discontent with the current arrangement. His comments were made following the DA's Federal Chair Helen Zilla's statement claiming her party was crucial in promoting public-private partnerships and in defending President Cyril Ramaphosa's position against pressures from the economic freedom fighters. On November 7, during a press briefing, Banula condemned Zilla's remarks, alleging that her goal is to exaggerate her party's influence within the GNU while questioning the AC's historic leadership. Banula stated, If the DA feels they should leave the GNU, they are free to make that decision, be it tonight, tomorrow, or at their own convenience. This divisive rhetoric lacks substance, both in historical relevance and in terms of our current transformative objectives. Zilla's aims is evident to undermine the AC's leadership and to obstruct the transformative projects that are at the core of our national democratic revolution, but her tactics won't deter us. Balula went on to criticize Zilla for attempting to present herself as essential to South Africa's future, arguing that South Africans have consistently chosen the AC to lead through democratic elections. He also condemned Zilla's actions, describing them as a clear reminder of a divisive approach focused on identity politics, which he believes stands in opposition to genuine national unity. Malula highlighted examples including what he called exclusionary actions. Malula highlighted examples including what he calls exclusionary actions such as DA's organized marches, which he claims reflect the party's ideological stance. Earlier in the week, on the 5th of November, the DA, together with the Freedom Front Plus, Solidarity and Afroforum, organized a protest march from the Fort Drekka Monument to Freedom Park. This demonstration was aimed at the Basic Education Laws Amendment Act, which President Cyril Ramaphosa signed into law on the 13th of September. The DA's grievance focused on clauses 4 and 5 of the Act, which DA leader John Stanazin contends overly empowers the government in areas concerning school admissions and language choices. Stanazin argued that the Act infringes upon the constitutional right to education in one's preferred language, emphasizing our constitution enshrines the right to be educated in one's official language of choice. These hard-worn rights cannot be easily dismissed by the government's decree. School governing bodies must maintain the authority to make decisions that respond to the needs of parents and local communities. Safeguarding mother tongue education remains crucial. The ongoing dispute between the ANC and DA illustrates an escalating ideological rift, with both sides accusing one another of undermining national unity and the country's progress.